Hi everyone, welcome to Copenhagen Fashion Week. We are live with uh, Sofia Rowe and Charlotte Elsinger uh, at the garment presentation. Hi and congratulations on your debut. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the concept of the brand and how you join forces and are doing things a little bit differently with the, with the garment? Right, exactly. Um, so the concept of this collection, I actually gathered together with my friend Emily. I think she's containing both, she's in perfect harmony with both her feminine and masculine side. And she wears both with like perfect elegance and confidence. And that is exactly the, the feeling that I want people to feel when they are wearing the garment. And Charlotte and I, first when we met, um, it was uh, clear from the very beginning that we share our um, uh, is the same aesthetic, but also um, the urge to create something that where you feel uh, perfectly in harmony between your masculine and feminine side. And um, of course, um, it has a very seasonless approach. So for me, um, I'm always doing everything myself. When I'm rushing out of the door, I um, I always lean towards my classics, and you know the classics that have stayed in my closet throughout many, many seasons and that I always feel prepared for life in. Um, so yeah, that's the idea. And do you find that there is um, a, a space and a platform for brands that are seasonless to now take part in Fashion Week and that's just as important as uh, a brand that does seasonal collections and focuses on newness? Exactly. I think it's more important than ever, especially because right now uh, the focus is, of course, which it should be very much about sustainability. Sustainability is also about um, um, owning less by buying right. Um, so you really need to like focus on investing in some pieces with longevity and versatility, which I think the garment collection has. And Charlotte, do you want to expand a little bit about your sustainable ethos and uh, how you've worked to make sure that this collection is uh, made as ethically as possible? Yeah, I mean, it's it's such an important part of our brand and our concept, both the seasonless part as Sophia is telling about, but also we use sustainable fabrics, which we use the Hick Index to measure. We just signed up for the 1% for the Planet Pledge. So we actually give 1% of our turnover to a sustainable purpose. We are climate neutral, um, which means that we climate compensate throughout a company called Choose in Cambodia, Peru and Kenya with a natural project. So we have so many initiatives. It's such a huge and important subject for fashion today that we learn how to do a more sustainable production in general. Um, we're also transparent, so we show both tier one and tier two suppliers. And then Sophia and I, we, sh we sh really share the same passion for like keeping our clothes. And like even yesterday when we stood with the collection, it was a bigger fall and spring. And like yeah. it, it looks so similar also with the climate change. And, exactly. And yeah. versatility in each uh, design. Like it's something you can reuse throughout seasons with existing pieces from previous collections. Um, yes. Amazing. And knowing that fashion is quite a wasteful industry and we're all sort of trying to balance having fun with fashion but at the same time making more sustainable decisions, how do you in your own journey to becoming more sustainable have been finding this balance? Right, um, well of course fashion is fun, it's uh, yeah. something that is pleasing our aesthetic heart, um, it's a passion and um, I think classics don't always have to be boring or you know it's all about the texture in the fabric it's about the the um, the silhouette like how do you combine two fabrics that makes it interesting and throughout seasons you have for example organic cotton like in the summer and you have um, something more heavier during the winter so you know there's always something to play with you just um, have to realize how much there is actually to play with exactly. what about yeah, yeah. also like I also feel it's a the woman, how she wears the collection. Mm -hmm. It's also a sustainable way of how you can restyle everything and keep your stuff for like, I mean, if you can have a dress from here for many years, right? Mm -hmm. You restyle and you take care of it. You, 
I like also, I mean, we don't wash our clothes a lot. Like we put it outside for hanging and we really care about what we buy. Amazing. And just to close, what's next for the garment now? The world is reopening. Fashion Week is back. What are you most looking forward to uh, seeing the brand develop in the next uh, few years? Um, well, I'm very much hoping to inspire women to adore the classics and also with my digital background to, um, you know, show ex show exciting ways to, uh, to style it and maybe inspire um, everyone to you know, adore the classics. <laughs> yeah, I would also say it's like getting back to life, you know, go out again. And now, I mean, the thing is evolving and embrace life. Yeah. I think that's a really nice note to end on. Thank you so much Thank for joining so in. Bye.